Good day guys, welcome from Queensland, Australia for um, acrylic pouring video. Pretty excited today because I'm going to do something that I've never done. I'm going to do an 18 coloured, 18 colours, yes 18 colours uh, pour and I'm going to do it with this giant Swifty swipe. I am going to swipe with this giant Swifty swipe. As you can see, this is normally uh, used for window cleaning, but um, I found that the little rubber thing on the end was a little bit too firm for uh, when I tried it, it just pulled all my colours off. So what I've done is I've created myself I cut out the soft plastic file divider so it's a little bit softer um, so it's still creating a nice giant swifty swipe so this is my new little tool so I'm trying the giant swifty swipe so I'm doing it on this 60 by 30 canvas but I have got a hundred and fifty by uh, 50 I think it's hundred and fifty by 40 uh, canvas a large canvas to do and I want to try and do a big swipe on that so I was thinking of the tool so this is the tool and I have 18 colors um, I had my new Montmartre colors Montmartre studio acrylics so these are just the new colors out of the range but I have a lot of the old colours mixed up too so I'm going to do an 18 colour Swifty Swipe Pour and wish me luck with this because um, I haven't tr tried it out with this new piece that I've added on the end but I'm really confident that it will work and it'd be an excellent tool for swiping big canvases so you've got the, the, the right angle yeah it's great so let's see let's get into this massive pour that i've got ahead of me uh well it isn't massive because i'm doing i'm not doing it on a huge canvas but i've got 18 colors that i'm just going to hope don't go to mud so please wish me luck um this is a bit of fun and i'm just yeah raring to go so i'm finishing off some of the colors that i've been pouring with uh, since my new colours arrived so this is the silver and I only have a bit left so I'm going to try and do like complete ribbons all the way down my canvas in uh, each colour so let's see how we go so they uh, Montmartre now have silver and gold it doesn't actually say metallic on the um, bottles but they are definitely metallic as you can see so I want to save my little um, timber uh, what do you call it spatulas oh uh, yeah timber lolly sticks okay I'm gonna go the gold the gold is just divine in this um, the new colours and I'm so glad they come out with such a beautiful gold I'm only going to do one one ribbon across for now if I've got um, so okay I better start okay I'll go through the reds the ready tones first so this was this is one that I out of the Montmartre Studio acrylics that I mixed up and I used the very dark red and I put phalo blue in it. So I'll go the reddies, the ready reds, and then this is the new colour carmine. Carmine. Sort of like a deep rose. Yeah, it looks like a deep rose colour to me. Exciting. Now the magenta. Magenta, magenta. They might all turn to mud if I'm going to swipe all the way down with these um, colours. I'm going the Burnt Sienna. That's a new one from Montmartre too. Down my bottom with that so I don't drag 
Um, oops. And this one is simply called pink. No mistaking this for pink. Pink, pink, okay, we'll go the light purple. Light purple. I will go the dark purple. So I have uh, recipes for my pouring medium and exactly instructions how I mix my paints and they're all found underneath my in my description box and it will have the supplier um, online Capriol online supplier Capriol Shabby Chic uh, in Australia and also have a link for uh, US Canada and in the UK you can get all of the products I use on Amazon. So that was the brilliant red. Oh, getting a bit excited. Okay, this is the mid yellow. I'm gonna pop that down here because I feel if I put it any further up and it runs through colors, it might send them all greenish or whatever. Okay, I am on this. Oh, these greens are just, this is called aqua. They're just beautiful. All of the colours that they bought out, the new colours in Australia, are just divine. I have had so much fun since I got these on Friday. It's been absolute pleasure. Uh, this one's Viridian. Yeah, my husband said, "Oh, so we'll we'll go out for the day." Um, oh no, no, I'm not. I'm not feeling quite well today. No, thank you. So isn't that terrible that I've ref I want to stay home and paint. Okay, where am I now? Okay, this is their orange, which already was a thing. Um, but I like to add a little bit of yellow to that. Sends it just that little bit brighter. Um, Okie doke, where am I now? This is the turquoise, but I added a bit of blue into the turquoise, as you do. Well, I love to play with my paints too. So you've got all these lovely colours, but you've got so much more when you want to um, change them. Okay, so I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. What am I missing? 15. Oh, just the normal turquoise. Okay, normal turquoise. 16 and I've got white 17 what am I missing I'll put the burgundy da, 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 burnt sienna gold light dark iridium mid yellow okay I'm going to What was I on? 16, 17. White. So that's 17. And then my 18th, of course, will be my white colour. God, I'm going nanas. Nanas, nanas. Wasn't to go right to the bottom because, as you know, uh, these colours are going to be swipe down so I might just add a little bit of extra color up the top because I don't like a pronounced swipe color but I'm gonna add a bit more gold oh that's a bit chunky add a bit of gold in here sort of the gold taken over the blues might yeah well we're just going to go with it, people. Just going to go with the flow. Um, what else shall I add up there? I'll just add a bit more of the brilliant red. Alrighty. Okay, let's move these out. So I have got the 18 colours with the swipe colour. So I am going to swipe i think in navy i think so so 
so that's what all those colors look like on your canvas I'm gonna try and keep them from um, mixing too much because I just want to see if this giant Swifty swipe works so just be such a great tool if it does for doing nice long canvases because you've got the long handle too so um, having the long handle will obviously help to stand above if you've got a big canvas and you want to lay it down on the floor obviously on a, a lot of paper stop your paint going everywhere so I'm just giving it the little tilt tilt job to um, cover your edges but don't don't worry too much because you can always cover your edges afterwards so yeah all of the suppliers for the pro there are they've got links underneath I've got links underneath my video for beginners and I've also got links for the suppliers um, and I've got a link now to our Australian uh, Australian acrylic pourers group so if you, any of you would like to join us on our Australian acrylic pourers group you are almost welcome any country you don't have to be from Australia so this particular group is for you guys to post your work so because so many of you like me to see what you've done um, so it's a you know you can go to a safe place where there'll be other like-minded artists and we're all going to be there to help one another so this is what this is about it's a safe friendly place no judgment if you ever see anything nasty written on then you obviously report it I have um, what do you call them uh, moderators that's what I'm calling them. moderators to hopefully keep you all in check but I don't expect there to be any problem except if there's um, obviously somebody trying to infiltrate our site but I'm sure you guys will shut them down all right look at this absolutely gorgeous as it is I mean even a paw like that with nothing done to it still looks so effective and especially if it was on a really long canvas okay um, as you know I've told you before I use this particular PVA glue for my pouring medium at 70-30 the recipes uh, underneath the video as I said in the drop down box but when the bottles are finished I do not throw away these bottles they're terrific good strong bottles to store paint that you have you're going to use or paint that you want to put in a squeezy bottle um, so because they've got a good squeezy thingy duva good squeezer so okay I'm, get, I'm getting excited about doing this swipe so without further ado let's get into it I'm not sure if I should put maybe I should just put a line of the swipe there let's get into it oh wish me luck guys uh, gotta try new things for you all so here we go and the giant swifty swipe please let the pouring gods be with me Ooh, here we go here we go here we go oh come on come on come on do it do it do it <laughs> oh haven't got a cloth at the other end to wipe my swifty swipe okay I'm gonna just wipe it with my cloth first and then get into it again I think I'm just sort of too uh, nimble there I need to yeah put a bit more pressure on it I think Okay, let's give it another go come on do your thing why am I missing a bit there okay obviously this needs a bit of practice which is why I'm what I'm here to do so I'm going to wipe the swipey end oh my goodness well there was a risk of the uh, paints all going muddy because there's so many different colours in there but you know you just got to try it haven't you just got to try these things I'm not too worried about funny edges because we can edit those edges with a bit of balloon work or a bit of something 
probably should have laid some more paint down here because look it's um, I thought I'd be dragging the paint all the way down but I think I was being so careful not to put too much pressure on it in case I wiped all the paint off because I did have a try using just the um, rubber end that it comes with poured it and it just psh, wiped all the paint off so anyhow it's all trials and errors so I'm hoping that I do the trial so you guys don't do so many errors okay now with the magic wand but look at that it looks like an oh definitely looks like a um, reflection on water with the northern lights wow 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 okay here we go my lovely little heat tool everything I'm using today the links are underneath on the Australian site if you're in the US you will find these on Amazon I think they're called heat embossing tools do not google wonder wand I love that red and gold together I must try that I have definitely definitely not got enough paint down the bottom I should have either put enough a bit more pressure when I was pulling the wand down or I should have just laid the paint and and you know uh, let it just being taken off the end if that's but this is so dark and mysterious but gorgeous look at all the separate colors they're going to continue to uh, develop but oh, let me know what you think about this fantastic new tool of mine. I'm so excited to give it. Just I'm just going to further develop it and see what I can come up with. Any ideas, guys, I'm happy to hear from you. Please let me know what you think about our 18 colour giant Swifty Swipe. So until next time in the art lab thanks thanks so much for joining me thank you for subscribing and the beautiful comments that i'm getting from you guys um and the support i am endlessly endlessly um humbled and thank you thank you and thank you thank you so there are all the links underneath to beginners videos to all the stockists from everything i use um also the links to uh Australian acrylic pouring group um, on Facebook and my and of course you're free to hop over to my uh, Australian uh, acrylic art by Jilly Cube Facebook page too I am also on Instagram Pinterest uh, what else yeah oh I'm, 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 I'm here there and everywhere okay thanks guys until next time bye for now my goodness i am back i just wanted to add a bonus bit to the end of my video to let you see i did give a um i just wanted to see how far i could push this results of the paints and my embellishment so of course i used a big balloon which i don't usually use a balloon this size but i did uh, balloon rolls and kisses then i've embellished it with this little um, skewer which is you just basically run through the cells it just takes the cell look out of the cell if you know what I mean and kind of gives it like a whimsical look so just do the wiggles through the cell um, it's just nice just something different for you to try yeah, if you if your skewer starts to muddy up just keep wiping it off but yeah i just wanted to let you see my playing with this i did take photographs of it before i've played so those will be posted but i will continue fiddling because that's what's therapeutic about this particular art 
is that you can just continue to create till your heart's content. Remember what I say in my art room? Uh, your art room, your rules. So, my art room, my rules. So until next time, thanks for joining me.